Yo, Yankees fans, what is up? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all like almost stars. Yankees fans, let's talk about John Carlos Stanton. If you saw my latest video, I chimed in and stated my opinion. JT Rumutu is the player that Yankees fans and writers are talking about, okay? So I chimed in. I said if the Yankees do trade for Rumutu, I think John Carlos Stanton would be the old man now. I'm not saying it's going to happen, okay? But John Carlos Stanton has to step it up. John Carlos Stanton has had the opportunity to become the man. While well, obviously Aaron Judge has been out. It's quite obvious that the New York Yankees are Aaron Judge. The Yankees are Judge's team, okay? So Stanton has been in the slump, okay? My opinion is that John Carlos Stanton needs to finish strong. If the Yankees make the playoffs, obviously they are at this point. He needs to perform. My opinion is, though, at one point you're going to have to pay all these players. You're going to have to pay Judge. You're going to have to pay Severino. You're going to have to pay Gary Sanchez. Maybe even Batanzas. All of these players, okay? My opinion is, this offseason, you have a whole bunch of different options. You have Machado. You have Harper. You could even trade for Rimutu. You have all of these players available, okay, to choose from. Next season, to be honest with you guys, if you are going to unload a contract like Stanton, this offseason is the only opportunity you get. And that's just my opinion. If the Yankees go out and obtain, like I said, a player like Rimutu. You have no place to plug Gary Sanchez. Where is he going to play? People are saying just give him away. Give away Gary Sanchez. He could be a premier slugger in your lineup that is going to cost you absolutely nothing till 2020 and could be plugged there in that DH row. And in my opinion, he will perform. And you guys know I'm not the biggest this season Gary Sanchez fan, but I do know if well rested. And he has the opportunity to just bat or maybe platoon as a catcher, he would really put up the same numbers as John Carlos Stanton. That's just my opinion. Also, what National League team is going to trade their catcher for Gary Sanchez? Hmm? What catcher in return is going to have, let's say, be as good as Gary Sanchez offensively and just superior defensively? Only one catcher, JT Riamutu. Okay? So there's no other possible way where you say, I'm going to trade Gary Sanchez for a catcher that's just going to be better than Gary Sanchez. You, there's not many that are better than Gary Sanchez offensively. Also, if you trade him away to an AL team, how does that make sense trading away Gary Sanchez knowing he only makes about 600 k a year to 2020 and keeping a player making about that's going to make $32 million a year. How does that make sense? This is where I'm coming from. So in my opinion, the Dodgers like Stanton, obviously John Carlos Stanton has a no trade clause. He likes the Dodgers. The Dodgers like him. And what I'm saying is you only get one opportunity to dump that contract. Hey, I like John Carlos Stanton. I think he's the beast. I want him and like him on the Yankees. But if the Yankees are going in this direction where they're saying, hey, we're going to upgrade our catching because our catcher defensively is not going to perform long term. We just don't project them as a catcher for, let's say, his full time career, maybe on a small market team, maybe a small market team wouldn't care to have Gary Sanchez as their catcher. But that makes no sense because you need something in return for Gary Sanchez. You need an actual catcher. They can't perform offensively and defensively for you. So, like I said, John Colo Stanton needs to start performing. I never, ever made a video criticizing John Colo Stanton till now. He has had the perfect opportunity, like I said, to perform, to make the Yankees his team, to, let's say, go on a hot streak, carry the Yankees, hit a whole bunch of home runs, RBIs, etc. He is not doing that at the moment. So, again, I'm going to repeat this. John Carlos Stanton needs to finish off strong. Just imagine the Yankees get eliminated that first game of the playoffs, or let's say they advance. Let's say John Carlos Stanton is still subpar. 
Does it make sense to keep John Carlos Stanton is what I'm saying. Does it make sense? When you know there's a team like the Dodgers willing to take on John Carlos Stanton's contract, knowing that he could opt out in 2020. Hmm? That's the only opportunity the Yankees have to unload that contract. And I'm just saying it ahead of time. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I'm looking at how the Yankees are operating when it comes to spending money, saving money, developing players, and I don't see the Yankees trading away Gary Sanchez. They can't. His value has decreased as a catcher. Maybe if it was earlier in the season, I would say, hey, the Marlins might just take on uh, Gary Sanchez. But really, they'll be pretty stupid to trade JT Ramuto for Gary Sanchez. And like I said, again, I don't think, I don't know if it's going to happen, but the Yankees like Ramuto. They like JT. And people are saying, I don't see the Marlins uh, trading away JT. But who knows? Who knows? The Marlins are offering him uh, an extension. Then there's Yankees fans saying, get rid of Gary Sanchez. Get, he's a bum. Where were you earlier in the season when me and Sam and Eddie Source and other people were saying, hey, this guy's not performing. Uh, I mean, maybe he should be used as a trade chip for uh, starting pitching. Where were you guys back then? Now his value has decreased. I mean, you really can't get anything in return if you trade him for another catcher. All I'm saying is offensively, I believe in Gary Sanchez, but defensively, I don't. I think Gary Sanchez is the H. I think he should be... People keep suggesting to platoon him at first base. I think it's a bad idea. I think Gary Sanchez as a player is a DH. And a lot of people are triggered at the mention that uh, John Colo Stanton could be traded or just bringing up the idea of trading John Colo Stanton. I'm not bringing it up. I'm just analyzing what the Yankees are doing. If anything, criticism like this from Yankees fans should light a fire under John Colo Stanton's ass because he does need to get going. But like I said, he's walking a thin line. He needs to finish off strong. The Yankees, like I said, realistically have a lot of options this offseason. If a team like the Dodgers are willing to take that contract, the Yankees aren't going to think twice. The Yankees are all about saving money, making good deals, making deals that make sense, and a whole bunch of players are going to be available in the offseason. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I hate John Carlos Stanton. I'm not saying John Carlos Stanton is not a good player. I'm just pointing out that the Yankees have become quite cheap, and it's a possibility that they might ship out John Carlos Stanton this offseason. Like the Boston Red Sox suggested this offseason, they said, hey, the Yankees are going to trade John Carlos Stanton to the Dodgers uh, next offseason. And people said it was a joke. It's a lie. Who knows? Who knows? We don't know. We just got to wait and see. Like I said, John Carlos Stanton, the Yankees need you. We need you to perform, live up to that contract, finish off strong. I want John Carlos Stanton as a Yankee, but I'm just saying, I'm just laying it out. If he does not perform, opportunities for the Yankees are there. That's all I'm saying. The way, in my opinion, is coming off of the Yankees obviously putting out that they want to make a move for real move to all these other moves, etc. And like I said, if... Gary Sanchez is not shipped out. Stanton is the old man out. That's all I'm saying. There's people commenting saying uh, this channel is a joke. Uh, when I put out originally that the Yankees should aim for real Muta because offensively Gary Sanchez is not going to work out. A lot of people laughed then. Now you see the same thing on the front pages of the NY Post, all these sites, etc. So people can laugh now, say this channel is a joke, but whatever. We'll see in the offseason. We'll, we'll see how it plays out. Then you could say, yeah, this channel's a joke. So, Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.